Hollywood uses a variety of different techniques to change an actor's appearance, from makeup and wigs to fat suits and prosthetics. They've invented and perfected hundreds of different techniques. But it's when the actor needs a different body type, which can't be disguised or hidden under clothing, that we see the real magic of Hollywood. Two types of silicon rubbers are used. The green silicon contains an oil that prevents the actor's body hair from adhering to it. The oilless blue silicone is then applied on top and then both are wrapped in a temporary plaster jacket to cure. Once dry, the plaster cast is then carefully removed and the mold is used to create a fiberglass mold that gets covered in clay ready for the next step. Here, artists work with human anatomy models and concept artwork of the director's ideas and begin sculpting the clay, forming muscles and veins, the belly button and nipples. In this stage, attention to detail is incredibly important as any slight error made now will be magnified later. The veins, for example, had to be incredibly subtle because otherwise they would stand out too much once painted. Once they are happy with all the detail, they cover it in a thicker silicon to make a mold. This mold is then combined with the life cast mold and a Foam latex is injected in between. The exterior layer of foam latex is then covered in a skin colored layer of silicon. The painter begins by finding the actor's skin tone and then matching it. Although everyone has their own skin tone, this tone varies depending on the area of the body, how much sun it gets or how the light reflects off it. Everybody's skin has red tones because of the blood. Blues from the veins, but also greens, browns and pinks. If the bodysuit is for a manscaped bodybuilder, it would be finished after paint. But if it's for a fat, hairy guy, there's even more detail to be added. For example, a belly isn't just a bulge, it has weight to it. So they added bags of beads to the inside of the suit in order to mimic its weight. And so the belly had some bounce. Hairs had to be sewn onto the suit individually, respecting growth patterns and also density. Knowing understanding and being able to apply all these subtle differences add to making the suit look ultra realistic. Okay, I know we said without the effects, but sometimes it is necessary. You see, clever usage of prosthetic beards, necklaces and gloves are a great way to hide the seams of the suit around the neckline and the hands, but sometimes the suit's zipper, for example, just can't be hidden. And that is when the usage of the effects is necessary. Please give us a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget the links to the music used in this video are in the video description. And be sure to let us know in the comment section which movie VFX you'd like to see behind next.